That's one way to do it. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 unconventional movie weapons. For this list, it goes without saying that the focus is not on anything that you would immediately consider a weapon. It's also gonna get pretty gnarly, so don't say that we haven't warned you. Number 10, Basketball, Deadly Friend. Damn shit. Let's begin with this ordinary piece of sports gear. When a woman is killed by her abusive father, she is implanted with the microchip from an insane robot. This sends her off on a killing spree, as insane robots are wont to do. Instead of exclusively using her super strength to murder her victims, she uses a basketball to smash Mama Fratelli's skull. Man, Buffy's got a hell of a throwing arm. Number 9, Stiletto High Heels, Single White Female. We lean on each other and we, we protect each other. We're, we're best friends. You're nuts, you know that? In this flick, an obsessed psychotic roommate takes to sleeping with her obsession's boy toy. When he has a crisis of conscience, she has a counter freak out and throws a stiletto at his head. You, you won't have to say a word, sweetheart, because I'm going to tell him myself. No! Since this only makes matters worse, she then uses the second shoe to take him out. Good bitch. Oh. And that is why female Watch Mojo employees are required to wear flats. Hey. Hey. Number eight, porcelain phallus, a clockwork orange. Be the hello, don't touch it. It's a very important work of art. Alex and his droogs love to go around raping and torturing the innocent, all while forever associating everyone's favorite music with these horrific acts. Alex goes for even greater shock value when he attacks an artist using the most important member of her collection. That's right, he uses the hardest object he can find to take her out. Number seven, Water, the Wizard of Oz. <laughs> Going so soon? I wouldn't hear of it. Why, my little party's just beginning. Everyone knows this one, and if you don't, then get ready to be surprised. While the nasty Wicked Witch of the West loves threatening Dorothy's crew, especially with fire, How about a little fire, Scarecrow? It turns out that regular old water is her Achilles heel. We're not even talking about drowning her with it. <laughs> What can we say? She must have gotten green thanks to years without bathing. Oh, my world, my world. While this seems to make sense in the fantastical world of Oz, it still doesn't explain the ending of Signs. Number six, T-Bone Steak, Law Abiding Citizen. So for lunch, I would love a 20 ounce porterhouse steak, medium, maybe a little bit charred, with all the trimmings. Palm frites, asparagus, butter squash. F you and your palm frites. Oh, Gerard Butler, you aren't just a lady killer, but a man's man. We say that because he plays a man who takes the law into his own hands and at one point offers up valuable information for a seemingly harmless meal. This leads him to share his meal with his cellmate. You like steak? Mm. Steak. Mm. steak. Mm. I have a big piece mm. for you. There you go. <laughs> and by share, we mean stab him to death with the T-bone from his steak. Wait, is that why they call it shanking? Number five, dildo, lock stock, and two smoking barrels. What's all the fuss about Harry? Why don't we just boycott the payment? Let me tell you about that shit, Harry. They say there's a fine line between pleasure and pain. However, when one of the men in debt to a gangster questions why everyone lacks the balls to stand up to him, Jason Statham quickly brings him up to speed with a colorful anecdote. Within a minute, Harry's lost his rag, reached out for the nearest thing at hand, which happened to be a 15 inch black rubber cock. Basically, the last person to miss a payment was given the shaft. He's then proceeded to batter poor Smithy to death with it. 
Pence. Achi Ari is a man you pay if you owe. Number four, records, Shaun of the Dead. Purple Rain. No. Son of the Tony. Definitely not. The Batman soundtrack. Sorry. <sighs> With the apocalypse bearing down on Sean and his buddy Ed, the hapless duo are caught with the realization that they haven't the foggiest idea how to fight back. <laughs> this leads them to take the unusual opportunity to sort through their record collection while zombies shamble towards them. This really exemplifies how stupid they are, because everyone knows that VHS tapes are the best way to deal with zombies. Sade, that's Liz's. Yeah, but she did dump you. Oh. Number three, carrot, shoot him up. Carrot, it's good for your eyesight. If the pen is mightier than the sword, what does that say about carrots? In a film that seeks to redefine the term over the top, Clive Owen's carrot munching killer uses his comfort food to create a whole lot of discomfort. Son of a bitch! Well, that and a bad pun. Eat your vegetables. This carrot will probably not help you see in the dark. Number two, Pencil, The Dark Knight. How about a magic trick? I'm gonna make this pencil disappear. We did mention that the pen is mightier than the sword, and pencils are apparently no exception. Here, Heath's Joker decides to offer up his services to Gotham's crime lords. To show that he's got the skills to pay the bills, he offers up an eye-opening magic trick. It's... it's gone. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. No! Not my misery! Number one, bowler hat, gold finger. Remarkable. Finally, we've reached the ultimate undetectable and unexpected movie weapon. A needlessly bizarre killing device, Goldfinger's Stone Cold Henchman Oddjob makes use of a bowler's hat to take out his targets. That's right, guns are for wimps. Just make sure you don't ask him to take it off if you go to a restaurant. Agree with our list? Which unconventional movie weapon had you gasping in disbelief or giggling at its downright silliness? For more unexpected top tens, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Pardon me, fatty. Huh? But if you're going to eat cake, you ought to use a fork.